Hey there. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something I've, I've noticed that it seems like <clears throat> a lot of Christians lately are really obsessed with this idea of being right. Um, you know, as if their theology is the, is the only correct theology. Uh, their ideas of the, about God and about Scripture and, and truth uh, and, and all those things, they're right and everyone else is wrong. And a lot of times, you know, it's classic in the sense of it's Armenians versus Calvin's, Calvinists um, and those kind of ongoing debates. Uh, but, you know, and, and things like whether you believe, whether you're a dispensationalist or you're a preterist, uh, as far as like, you know, your ideas about the, the second coming of Christ and what are the signs of that and when is it going to happen and is, does, do we need to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem first or... Was all of that fulfilled in AD 70 and all those kinds of things? So, and, and I'm, you know, I'm interested in those things and I don't mind talking about those things. And I've blogged about them and done podcasts about them and had conversations with people about, you know, these kind of differences of opinion on different theologies. And I, I enjoy that. I actually do enjoy, as long as the person I'm having a conversation with is, is civil and is it uh, taking it to the level? But see, but that's what I'm talking about. It's when we can't tolerate different ideas. We can't we can't bear the idea that another Christian would be wrong about something, or that they would dare to say that we're wrong, or to question that whether or not we're right. Uh, so there's an arrogance there, of course, that says I'm right in every possible way, and I can't be wrong, and therefore I have a position of authority to speak down to you because you are wrong and I'm not. But I've also felt like, here's, here's another thing I think is going on, that we have gotten the idea that Christianity is ultimately about getting it right. In other words, that Christianity is about the right information, that you need the right information about God and the right information about Jesus, the right information about everything, and if you've got all the right information, then you are a Christian. Or at least to the degree you've got the most amount of right information, the more Christian you are. And conversely, the less correct you are, the, the less you know, right information you have, the less Christian you are. And therefore, I have the right to call you a heretic because you disagree with me on one or two different points of doctrine. But see, here's the deal. If Christianity to you is about having the right information, then to be wrong is the ultimate sin, right? Because if, if having the right information is Christianity, then having the wrong information is sin. But that isn't what Christianity is about or what it should be about. You know, the Christianity should be about transformation, not information. If to you Christianity is about transformation, then ultimately it's about relationship. It's your relationship with Christ, not about how right you are, how accurate you are, how correct you are. No one measures their, any relationship by those terms, right? We measure relationships by how much time you spend with someone, how, much, how honest you are with them, how transparent you are with them, how much time you spend with them, um, that communication you have with them, those kind of things. Those are the, those are the ways we measure a healthy relationship not accuracy, uh, not being right. Uh, you know, that, that's not what it's about. So I would say that Christianity is not about information. It's about transformation. If it's about information, then being wrong is the ultimate sin. But if, and then I have, then I have reason to disfellowship you and not hang out with you and not call you a brother or sister or, or create some sort of a division between us because you're wrong and I'm right. But, but what if Christianity is about transformation? Well, then you know what? I can be wrong about something and you can be wrong about something else, and that's okay. Ultimately, what is important is my relationship with Christ and your relationship with Christ and our relationship with one another, that we maintain those things. Jesus says, this command I give you that they will know you're my disciples if you love one another. He commanded us to love one another as he loved us. Does, Je does Jesus love us? Only if we have the right information about him. That doesn't seem to be a factor. So 
we love one another as he loved us, and he loves us whether we're right or wrong. That isn't what changes or affects his love for us. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Some food for thought. I'm about to tuck into my lunch here, but I hope you have a good day, and uh, share your thoughts with me. Let me know what you think. All right, God bless. We'll talk again.